Chapter 2 Linear Correlation Section F starts from your page number 113. First question. The information of fertilizer used in turns and productivity in turns of 8 district is given below. Here is the information of fertilizer and productivity. Calculate the correlation coefficient by Carl Pearson method. First of all, I just took all the information from the question and out of this information, I made it total and also find out x bar and y bar. As you can see, the value of x, y bar is quite more. So here I use the formula of uv. Now for uv, first x minus assumable x and cx. First of all, let's see, is any number is getting multiplied in one table? You can see 5, 8, 5, 9, obviously not. So here cx will be 1 and x minus a. Remember, in the exercise 2.2, uh, I already informed you about the assumable x. Now here for assuming, again I saw in the whole table, the 15 is the only the smallest observation. So here I am going to take a as a 15. So let's make a subtraction of uh, by using the formula u. x minus a, that is 15 and minus 15 obviously 0. 18 minus 15, here we get 3. 20 minus 15, that is 5. 25 minus 15, 10. 29 minus 15, 14. And continue with the same process. 20, 25, 23. And the total of this column, here I got 100. Next, V. Y minus B. Now here I have assumed 85 because here is the smallest observation in this column is 85. So 85 minus 85 again 0. 93 minus 85 8. Uh, 95 minus 85 10. And I will continue with the same process. That is 20. Here comes 30. 45. You people also use your calculator to find out the answer is correct or not. By taking a total of this V. Here the answer is 228. Now just take a square of this column 0, 0, 0, 3, 3 is a 9, 5, 5 is a 25, 10, 10 is a 100, 14 into 14, 196, 2, uh, 20 into 20, 400, 25 into 25, 625, 23 into 23, here comes 529, and here we get the total 1884. Next is V squared, means the, this column gets the square of this 0, 0 is a 0, 8, 8 is a 64, 10, 10 is a 100, 20, 20 is a 400, uh, 3, uh, 30 into 30, 900, 45 into 45, that is 2025, 20, uh, 55 into 55, here we get 3025, 60 into 60, 3600, get the total of this is 10,114. Now view V means the column of this two will get multiplied. 0, 0 is a 0, 3, 8 is a 24, 5, 10 is a 50, 10 into 20, 200, 14 into 30, 4, 20, 20 into 45, that is 900, 25 into 55, 1, 3, 7, 5, 23 into 60, 1380 and the total of this is 4349. After getting the total, let's take them all into the formula. And here we get the N8. Count the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here the answer N is 8. Sigma UV that is the total of UV column 4349 minus sigma u that is 100 sigma v that is 228 under root n 8 again sigma u square that is 1884 minus sigma u 100 whole square into n again 8 Sigma V square that is 10,114 minus Sigma V that is 228 whole square. Now the multiplication of this is 34792. 
multiplication of this that is 22800 multiplication of this 2 is 15072 minus square root of 100 is 10000 multiply multiplication of this 2 is 8 0 9 1 2 minus square root of 2 to 8 is 5 1 9 8 4 now just take them sub subtract them that would be 1 1 9 9 2 here 5 0 7 2 into 2 8 9 2 8 now the multiplication of this 2 1 1 9 9 2 multiplication of this will be 1 4 6 7 2 2 8 1 6 now remove the square root of this that is 1 1 9 9 2 the square root of this is 1 2 1 1 2 point 92 divide them you will get the answer 0 0.99 which will be similar to the any method you use to find out Carl Pearson Moving to the next question. Find the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient from the following information of the average weekly hours spent on video games and the grade points obtained in an examination by a six children of a big city. So here weekly average hours spent in video games and grade points obtained on examinations. So let's take the information back into the book. Here I took x and y, make them total and remove x bar that is 46 and y bar is 4.92. Remember the point, whenever you get the ob observation something like this, you have to take it into the table and here we'll also find out c. Here I am taking C. As you can see, the number of Y is 2907. So it is not going to come in any common number. So here I am going to take it 0 0.1. Common table number. Yeah. And over here also you can see that is in the X observation 3750. So this is also one of the thing that it is not coming in the one common table. So again CX I am taking it as a 1. ये पॉइंट में आंसर है और ये सारे नंबर पीछे वाले अलग है इसलिए यहां पे हम यूज करेंगे 0.1 बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट कमिंग इन कॉमन टेबल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द कैलकुलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अज्यूम हियर दैट व्हिच वुड बी द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन इन दिस कॉलम आई कैन सी 40 सो हियर x 40 विल टेक एंड इन y y minus, the smallest which I can see over here is 4.3. So here I'll take 4.3. Let's start the calculation. 43 minus 40 that is 3. 47 minus 47. Continue with the remainings. 5, 10, 0, 11 and the total of U column that is sigma U. Here I found 36. Same for the V. Y minus 43 sorry 4.3 divide by 0 0.1 so please take hold your calculator first take 5.2 minus 4.3 divide 0 0.1 you will get the answer 9 again take first 4.9 minus 4.3 divide 0 0.1 you will get 6 next 5.0 minus 4.3 divide by 0 0.1 you will get the answer 7. This is how you have to continue with the remaining. And here the answer will be 4, 11, 0. And the total of V column that is sigma V is 37. Now U square. The column of this will be get square that is 3, 3 is a 9, 7, 7 is a 49, 5, 5 is a 25, 10, 10 is a 100, 0 is a 0, 11, 11 multiplied by 11, 121. The total of this sigma u square is 304 next is v square 9 9 is a 81 
6 6 is a 36 7 7 is a 49 4 4 is a 16 11 11 is a 121 0 0 is a 0 and the total of this sigma v square 3 0 3 multiplication of ue that is the column this two will get multiplied 3 9 is a 27 7 6 is a 42 5 7 is a 35 10 4 is a 40 0 11 is a 0 11 0 is a 0 and here the total of sigma uv is 1 4 4 so let's take all the information into the formula it's the same formula which we have done in question number one of section f so i'm first going to put all the information in it here i keep first all the value into the formula and then start the solution the multiplication of this then the subtraction then the the multiplication of this two number and then remove the root here we get the answer and the answer is minus 0 0.96 remember here is smallest observation hai compared to this so here the answer minus me aega. and don't forget to write down at the end that hence the correlation coefficients by Carl Pearson method obtained is minus 0 0.96 moving to the next question number three find Carl Pearson correlation coefficient between density of population per square kilometer and that rate per thousand from the following data so here are the cities and the density per square kilometer and that rate is given so let's take this information into book first of all take the information and as you can see the numbers are quite more so rather than finding x bar and y bar here I directly start with the uv so here first of all for finding u x minus a upon cx now here you can see in the x column the ending wala jo number hai wo sara zero se hai okay the next second digit is five so this is the number we can see which will be multiplied with 50 ye sare numbers 50 ke table ke calculation mein aa sakte hain so here i am taking cx as a 50 and the smallest observation in this x column I saw 200. So here I am going to assume x minus a will be 200. Check with the v where is y minus b cy. So here again if you check the ye jo wala digit hai, that is 0055050. So we can see this all numbers will go with the table of 5. So here I am taking cy as a 5. And for B, take the smallest observation that is 10. So B is equal to 10 and here A is equal to 200. So let's start the calculation here. First of all, take 750 minus 200 divide by 50. You will get 11. 600 minus 200 divide by 50. You will get 8 and the same way will continue with the remaining 3, 6, 0, 10, 13 and the total of sigma u is 51. For v, 30 minus 10 divided by 5, you will get 4. Next, 20 minus 10 divided by 5, you will get 2. Continue with the remaining 0, 3, 8 and the total of v column that is sigma v is 20. Next, u square, the square of this column will be 11 into 11, 121, 8, 8 are 64 and please continue with the remaining 100, 169 and the total of this is 499 that is sigma u square. For v square column, again make the square of this column 4, 4 is a 16, 2, 2 is a 4 and continue with the same 0, 9, 64 and the total of v square is 98 now we'll take uv that is the multiplication of this two column 11 into 4 44 8 2 is a 16 3 12 0 30 1 0 4 and the total of sigma uv is 209 now let's take all the information into the formula and make a calculation here after taking all the information into the formula do the calculation as I shown you in the first question 
that first make a multiplication of this then this then this remove the square root again make a multiplication of this and remove the square root of this then take out the calculation multiply the square root you will get this number then remove the square root of it and the answer will be 0.88 for the question number 3 moving to the next 